Growing up, I wasn't instantly kind of thrown into sports. Uh, my dad's in the car industry, so I really grew up around cars. Football was one of the first sports I played. Started playing when I was five years old and instantly fell in love with it and watched football constantly 24-7 growing up and uh, knew very early that, you know, being an NFL player was what I wanted to be. I'm a big visual learner, so, you know, growing up, my dad always was, was playing clips for me and would call me out in the living room whenever he'd see something that I could apply to my game. And uh, early off as a kid, especially uh, in youth football, I was a running back, and uh, so he's always picking up little things to kind of make me an all-around running back. Specifically, I remember watching a, a Walter Payton uh, documentary and just watching him run, and to me, he's the greatest running back of all time. And just being able to see, you know, what he was able to do, and it really helped me visualize on, you know, how I wanted to play. And I remember I went to practice later that day, and, you know, nobody could really tackle me. In middle school, high school, I played football. That, that's all I did. In the offseason, I was doing workouts. Uh, working on the gym and just finding different ways to kind of sharpen my craft and uh, just just get better and because I knew at the end of the day football was the only thing I wanted to do. I think around the eighth grade was when I really started to get serious about uh, training and you know hitting the weight room and whatnot. Uh, a lot of kids had hit their growth spurt you know earlier than I had and uh, I had to find another way to get on the same type of level as they were, if not keep separating myself. And once I hit my growth spurt and stayed in the weight room, you know, stay with my speed training and whatnot, that's when I was really able to separate myself from the pack. Yeah, so freshman year, uh, I got the opportunity in high school to go to camp with the varsity team and kind of just, you know, show a little bit of what I can do. And uh, they really just wanted to see if, if I was able to hang uh, with the older guys. I did everything else well. I ran my routes well. I caught the ball. I made plays. Uh, just the one thing I was lacking was blocking. So they really rode me and I, I took it to heart. And I, I went home after that camp and honestly went online and uh, just found little ways and little videos of, of blocking and uh, even sat in my mirror and just, you know, practiced the technique and whatnot. And uh, when it came to practices before the season opener, I went out there and just uh, executed it. And I, I showed them that I could block because I was determined uh, to get on the field because at first they told me I wasn't going to get on the field as a freshman. They said I might play at the end of the game and play a lot of JV, but I was determined to start as a true freshman or, or a freshman on varsity. So I did everything I could to get on the field and uh, that was the one thing I was missing and I was able to get it down and uh, ended up playing and started like 10 games at my freshman year and uh, was an All-State selection. I said my parents are, are what I attribute my work ethic to, uh, both my mom and dad, because I've I seen them work for everything that they've gotten today. And uh, you know, we, we didn't have much when I was growing up and they had to work for every penny that they, they had and uh, everything that we got growing up. And uh, that just taught me if I wanted something, I had to go work for it. Majority of the, the kids that were coming to Saguaro, uh, the, the new kids, were, were transfers. My job, whenever Coach Jason would send them to me, was just to, to get you know their mindset right and uh, show them why we won championships and if they want to play at the next level, how they need to approach their their game, you know, on and off the field. I uh, just kind of take them under my wing and you know trying to get their mindset right and uh, just show them how to work and uh, you know I have them with plenty of guys and. Um, you know, all those guys are special to me and just to be able to, to impact their lives, uh, you know, obviously meant a lot to me and then when they go out on the field and be successful, that was awesome. Being able to contribute as a true freshman was my number one goal. Um, it was one of the main reasons why I went to A&M, because I knew the opportunity was there. I just knew I had to go there and work. My first game, you know, I just wanted to go out there and contribute, make a couple catches, and you know, I ended up having one of the biggest games of my career uh, against Arizona State, and it, it all kind of just took off from there. But uh, just all the, the, the work I was doing off the field uh, that people weren't seeing in the film room, extra stretching, flexibility, taking care of my body, it all made sense. I mean, everything that I put in, I was getting out on the field, and uh, that's when I really realized how hard work can, can really take you to the next level. If you're not self-aware, if you're kind of blind to, to your deficiencies, then you're not gonna get better. I think one of my strongest traits is to be able to criticize myself. Uh, after every game, you know, I'm always uh, going back and kind of picking apart the film and just seeing what I can do better. Never being satisfied with my performance probably has 
uh, been one of the best things for me. I think especially after my freshman year, I was able to kind of go back and look at uh, you know, where I was at the top of my routes, you know, press release and whatnot, and identifying coverages uh, because still as a freshman, uh, the speed of the game is still really fast and uh, you're not really seeing things as, as fast as you should. And so going into my sophomore and junior year, I was able to, you know, really see the game slow down and be able to identify coverages. You know, at the end of the day, you know, each guy, uh, you have to know how to lead them. And uh, I took that upon myself, you know, during off-season workouts and summer workouts and whatnot, to really see how each guy kind of reacts to leadership and what's the best way to kind of lead them. You know, if you kind of got to get on them or you just pull them to the side or you're just talking to them, you got to find which, which, you know, how each guy responds to, to leadership. My 40 has definitely been, you know, the thing that I, I've seen improve the most, and that's one of the reasons why I came to Exos. It's just because uh, everybody had, you know, nonstop great things, but great things to say uh, about their 40 program, the strength program, and uh, the coaches and the staff here has been great. We've worked our whole entire lives to get to this point, to get to this point, and uh, to say you're too tired, you know, it's just not acceptable. Uh, you just got to push through it, and because at the end of the day, you know, they're they're doing all this training for a reason and uh, you just got to push through the pain and because uh, at the end of the day it's going to pay off.